What message were you trying to get across? The message we wanted to get across from, from the Ben Chambers perspective was to share with them how diverse and um, intertwined our, our business community is with uh, OSU Cascades, for example, and how we work closely, work together and collaborate. Um, and to be cautious on the um, revenue, revenue generating taxes that are going to be imposed, we really feel that uh, all those combined taxes are going to really uh, damage and, and uh, hurt the, uh, the this economic engine that we put together. Do you feel as if you were heard by people? You met with both Republicans and Democrats and legislators and other state officials? Yeah, I think they heard, but I think they're in a real tough spot. They're, they're really looking at, at some, the, the PERS issue is really uh, foremost in front of their mind on how they're going to fund it, and education being another one too. So I think uh, the dilemma is strong for them, and I, and I see that too, but I just we just wanted to communicate uh, how it's going to impact this revenue generating community that's, uh, that Bend is and how it's contributing to the whole treasury for the state of Oregon and not to damage that. How do you feel like you were treated today? Oh, we were treated, we were treated great. I mean, they were very respectful. They listened. Um, so I, I don't have any issues with how we were treated. It was, it was good. It was a good I've, day. I've always been struck by the fact that I think for the most part, Oregon public officials are extremely accessible, um, at least compared with what I hear from other states. And so I'm just curious. If, sounds like you found that too. Yeah, I have, and they have been accessible, and it's been great. I've, I've been in, in, in Oregon now for uh, close to 30 years, and I've had the fortune over that short time to, to, to know all, my, all the governors, all my state representatives, mayors in my community, too. And, and when I was living in another state, um, didn't have that accessibility here, too, so it's really fortunate. What, what is the value of having the band chamber here as opposed to just doing routine testimony at meetings or you have Tuesday morning uh, video conferencing with legislators? Why is it important to actually come here in person? Well, I think it, it, it humanizes, and, and it, even my business, which is in the insurance industry too, I, the trust factor is so important when you're sitting across the table from each from somebody, uh, it has such a bigger impact too. We represent, the chamber represents over 1,200 businesses. Um, and we wanted to, to share with, with our representatives here, uh, we're real people. It's gonna have a great impact on us here too. And, and develop that trust that, that is so important on a face-to-face -face basis. Did you get a sense that there was progress on some of the issues that are important to the chamber? I think we were heard. We'll see whether or not there's progress. Uh, that's the yeah, the proof's yet to, to come.